Okay, this is the flame test lab. So if you've got the lab in front of you, um, you need to go to the back, there's a chart. What's going to happen is I'm going to hold each element in the flame and you have to record its color. Okay, so you can see the Bunsen burner. To my left is the hydrochloric acid. I need to clean that, or use that to clean my inoculating loop each time. So here I have my first chemical. I don't know if you can see it, probably not. Um, but it is sodium, or Na+. Okay, so first thing, I'm just going to clean my loop. I just hold it in the flame. Okay, and make sure just the loop is in the flame. Okay, so now that that's clean, I'm going to place it into the sodium. Okay, and if you see where the loop is, sodium is showing an orange color. Okay, so you should be recording orange. Okay, now I'm going to clean it. Okay. All right, the next one is showing K plus. So I put my loop in the K plus. This is potassium. I'm going to hold the loop in the flame. Okay, and I'm seeing a violet color in there. Okay, so make sure you record that. Just cleaning it off a little. Okay, next we have calcium, Ca plus 2. So I place my loop in there, and I'm holding the loop towards the edge. Okay, we can see calcium again is showing an orange color, similar to sodium. Okay, I'm going to clean it off, make sure there's no more calcium on there. All right, next we have barium, Ba plus 2. So I stick my loop in the barium solution and hold it in the flame. There we go. So it's sort of a, let me try that one more time. It looks like it's a pale yellow greenish. Yeah, there it is. Okay, it doesn't last very long, but we saw it. It's a pale yellow green. Okay, now I clean it off. All right, next in line is strontium SR. So I stick my loop in. There's strontium. It's a nice red color. Beautiful. It's one of my favorites. Okay, so strontium is red. That's a vibrant red. I think I'm burning my metal now. <laughs> All right, next we have lithium, Li plus. So it's in my solution. Okay, so I see orange and red in there. And let's just make sure. Yes, that's a little bit of a combination compared to just strontium, which was all red. All right. And our final solution which already gives its color away because the solution is a blue-green color. So that's copper. There it is. Beautiful blue-green. Love it. Okay, now the next thing we have here, it says to um, Look at sodium through cobalt glass. Okay, so sodium, I'm gonna put my camera down here to do this. 
So I'm dipping my solution. First, let me clean it. So this is cobalt glass. You see that, right? So I'm holding sodium in to the flame, and I'm looking through the glass right now. Okay, so right now I don't see any change when I look through it. And now I need to do the same thing for potassium. Okay, so here's potassium. And I look through. Now when I, pot when I see potassium, I see a nice bright pink showing up, like pinkish purple. So when I look this way, it's orange and a light lavender. Through the glass, I can actually see it pink. Okay, and the last thing you were asked to do was to look at an unknown. So I'm going to let you be the judge of this, yes, even through the camera. You've seen all my colors now, so I'm just cleaning it off, yeah, get that off there, okay. So the letter that I chose, um, it's letter C. So I don't know how well you can see that on my darkened camera, but this is letter C, so I know which one it is. I'm going to hold it in the flame. You need to be the judge of which chemical. Okay, let's try one more time. Make sure you saw that. So you are the judge. All right, I believe the rest of the questions you can answer by yourself because you've now seen all the colors. Good luck.